All right, I'm such a dork. This will probably be the only time I ever rank. I actually ranked. I got third. Yay! Parade Shadow Legends on one of their events. So I get to collect my stuff. I missed out on by a little bit on getting a, a six star stuff, but I don't even care. Claim it. That that is so cool. I'm so excited for myself on that because I usually don't even participate in none of that stuff. I don't even. Oh, uh, yeah, that's all the high high rollers. <laughs> I ain't that high rolling. <laughs> But I was just excited about that. That's the first time I actually finished in a ranking for Raid Shadow Legends. So that was kind of cool. And they got all these uh, great uh, skill stuff going. They giving uh, free gifts, I guess, every day for a little while. Because it is the second anniversary for Raid Shadow Legend, so I ended up getting a a, a, a shard, and then five hundred k in stuff. So make sure you check your inbox every day. I don't know if they're doing it all month or just this week or what. But just check and make sure you're getting all your stuff for the two-year anniversary for Rage at Old Legends. Sorry, I took the volume down. <laughs> but yeah, I think that was everything. I had forgot to get on, but I'm so happy that I even... Made a rank on one of them. So I just wanted to show that. I was so excited. It'll probably be the last time I do that. <laughs> but that just made me so happy right there. <laughs> and I will be coming back with some more stuff. And uh, summoning soon. So this will be like a little part one and then we'll go into some, when I have some stuff later, we'll go into summoning. So using Nightwear 360, Rage Child of Legends. And I will add an extra part on to this when I have done another recording. Catch y'all later. Alright, hi y'all, this is Use of Nightworm 360 and the game is Raid Shadow Legends. And we're going to go into uh, our boosted summonings. But uh, to all the people that's playing Raid Shadow Legends, don't forget to pick up your second anniversary gifts. Because uh, they've been giving some stuff out for the second anniversary of the game pack. So... Make sure you get all of that. And then they got other stuff on there, but I ain't. Okay, they ain't got nothing else. Gotta scroll. And that's all they been promoting them. Okay. And we get a chicken.
and I saw something else. I think it finally showed up the little goodie bag to live free claim. Okay, let's check on our sparring pit. Okay, I maxed level one. I'm kind of so far just uh, small maxing some of my four stars so I can start playing uh, uh, Faction Wars again with some teams. something else in the fragment summon uh they have uh healer witch arm which i think they have events for getting her pieces for her going on but we ain't worried so we gonna go on and summon with what we got i got one uh one golden shard, one void, and two ancient. And then if I have any room, maybe one or two mystery shards. But we'll go on. Let's see what we get. Juliana. Okay. Battlefield Dance Level 1 attacks one enemy two times. Each critical hit fills this champion's turn meter by 10%. Lethal Partner places 30% increased critical rate buff on this champion. Then attacks one enemy two times, placing a 5% poison debuff on targets for three turns if this attack is critical. Will ignore 50% of targets death when Romeo is on the same team over a Mero. So she can tag team with somebody else, but I don't think I even had him, so uh Fire of Purgatory level one attacks one enemy has a seventy five percent chance of placing HP burn deep puff for three turns. If you go to Ascended Three skill, attacks one enemy removes one random buff. From target has seventy five percent chance of placing an HP burn debuff for three turns. And let's see what was the last one. Increase ally critical rate in arena battles by twenty percent. So she a arena person. Okay, let's go and hit this void shard. See what we get. do so okay let's see what he do loyaling touch level one attacks one enemy has a 30 percent chance of placing sleep debuff on one turn so he'll sleep on disorienting blast level one attacks all enemies having a 75 percent chance of placing a 25 percent decrease attack debuff for two turns okay Twisted Devotion places a 30% increased death buff on all allies for two turns and blocks death buff on all allies for one turn. And then if you go to Ascended Skill, three, uh, third Ascended Skill places a 30% increased death buff on all allies for two turns and blocks debuff on all allies for two turns. So, oh, okay. So, mm, no. Maybe using him for uh, uh, Faction Wars too. Uh, selfless Partner places a 50% ally protection buff on all allies for two turns. Places a block damage buff on this champion for one turn. Only available when Temptress is on the same time. Oh, gosh. He got a stipulation too with somebody else. Which I ain't got. Hmm. 
Okay, anointed. Okay, it's something new. I don't think I have him. Mr. Chia, level one attacks one enemy three times, has a 25% chance of placing a freeze debuff for one turn. Uh, Vigor Theft, level one attacks one enemy two times, each hit has a 75% chance of stealing one buff from target. And Chant of Violence fills the team meter of all allies by 25%, places a 30 increase rate buff on all allies for two turns. Okay, one more time in the... Okay, Gator. Let's see what he do. Hex Smash level 1 attacks one enemy has 30% chance of placing a 50% heal reduction debuff for two turns. Radiate Frenzy level 1 places a 25% buff on all allies for two turns. And Defy Witch, the Witch level 1 removes all debuffs from all allies. Okay. And uh, Ascension level 3 increases ally critical rate in all battles by 22%. Okay. And I only got a few to... Uh, come on. I didn't really want to do that, but we going on. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. We are just summon the rest of the single. Slice, so I think I had him before. I don't think you really want to know what I think. I mean, it's a good game, but still, at the end of the day, I feel like they need to do a little bit. I almost sneezed. I felt like they need to do a little bit more on rewards wise uh, as far as events goes. I was lucky on the past recent event to get into a high rank, but otherwise, they still need a little work on that. So that is all my summoning for right now. But, uh, let's see. Where was they at? No, 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 him. Let me look at that one. A hunger. I think that's who I got. Was that who I got? Let me make sure. Oh, no, no, it wasn't the hunger. They, I mean, yeah, slice, or I got him. But I thought it was somebody. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Thrasher. Okay, I thought I figured that looked familiar. What was that skill score if it's. Thrasher. Has a 15% chance of placing block buffs. Mm, that takes one. Okay, so it ain't really nothing, so. Decreases the cooldown cut apart skill by one turn if this attack key oh, okay. And it has a 30% chance of placing D decrease debuff for two turns attack cut. Oh, okay. Okay, I thought they might have been something 
Uh, okay, he might be some hunger, but because you places a shield, but I was thinking about some other folks, so it is what it is. And I will be using those tones and everything else to finish up whoever, whoever hero was. Okay, I finished Anthony or regular Anthony. Uh, Elaine. I may do a lane, but uh, before I do a lane, I looked up Corpse Collector. I really didn't get a lot of information. So if anybody has Corpse Collector, put that in the comments below and let me know if she's worth building. I know Relic Keeper is up there. <sighs> oh, excuse me. It's on the list. Excuse me on that one. I will go on and at least do him one. But I'm gonna think I'm gonna go on and go back to Elaine. Feel like I need to go on and finish her up. chickens to go on and do her. I was trying to figure out my decision between either her or really keep her. But I might go on and do just both of those and just keep Corpse Collector at five. Or I might just save uh, save and wait till uh, uh, Gallic Gallic you know the main character anyway but you know, I ain't been. Hmm. I guess I got on to get down to him. I gotta go on an adventure, be a him anyway. So, that gives him a little bit built something. And then I gotta get some. Okay, and I can send him to five too. Okay, cool. I'll probably go on and do him. I know. I really need to go on and build him. I only seen a, a lane in arena, so that's why I'm kind of a little bit, but don't kind of want to watch her, and I'm still trying to figure out really keep her. I know that's in one of the tiers, but we'll see. But I definitely, uh, I gone on and do Gaelic definitely. I gone on and do him. Oh, he gotta be at Max to go. Okay, so I gotta work on mixing him, him out before I can do Gaelic. So, so, all right. So that's pretty much all my summoning uh, for this boosted summoning. And I'm gonna work on a couple of monsters. But please let me know if a uh, relic keeper or Elaine. I'm gonna go on in six Gaelic, but. Which one of those out of the two, if anybody plays Raid Shadow Legends, is worth building? Let me know in the comments below. 
This is using Nightwarn 360 and the game is Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, I will be having some more videos uh, later on for next week. Uh, they might be a little bit sporadic since I'm going to be uh, pretty busy that week. But I try to make sure to get them in, at least a few in for next week. So, thanks for being patient with me and catch you later.